Hi kids. Hey. That was abrupt. This is the second time it stops very abrupt. Yeah. Usually there's fadeage. Like it fades out. Yeah. It's all right. I don't know what that is. But we're here, episode two two three. Like my favorite bullet. <laughs> Shut up. Today's been bullshit from the time I opened my eyes. Listen. I'm known for having patience. Every bit of it is fucking it's gone. gone. It's, yeah. I, I'm not a positive person today. I'm not a happy girl. Mm-mm. I'm really rude. I don't want anybody to hit my phone. I don't want anybody to DM me nothing for like a good four days because I'm like a fucking raging bitch right now. I said nobody. I don't want to hear my name called for Mm-mm. like a week. I'm so serious. Like it's been non. We need a break. It's a break. been nonstop bullshit. People talking to us crazy. I've been dealing with people being messy. Yeah. Um, I have a fucking <laughs> yeast infection. I took my nails off last night and my fingertips are throbbing and shredded and I got to get a new set tomorrow, which is going to be fun. Um, it's just been back to back. Pe- Starbucks made our drinks wrong just now. First world problems. Um, <laughs> for sure. Now I feel guilty for complaining. <laughs> no, I, it's just been a lot of frustrations, little mini frustrations. No, I like ever since we went to the cabin, it's been nonstop. Like I haven't had like one fucking like day off day off no we just talked about that yesterday and also i just want to say one thing i don't know if y'all think that me and her are around each other all the time we're not or we're sitting around doing nothing all the time no i don't be seeing this bitch until we can get in for an episode yes and other than that we're both dealing with non-stop bullshit of our own so I- and, and even then, shit, you see there ain't no set schedule of what day an episode no, comes out like anymore. No, it's like we get in where we fit in, like, yes. literally. I, I come straight from fucking working five and a half hours, and I know that doesn't sound like a long shift, but it's a nonstop shift, um, and I come straight from that. Literally, we I walk in the house and we record. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's no, like, hi, like, how were things? No, we get to it as soon as we can yeah we're not fucking off um yeah and and we say that just because we had an incident with a listener um somebody thought they were being given the run around and that's never the case that's never the fucking case we always have good our intentions are always good yeah especially when it comes to something that we hold near and dear like our show and, and our community listeners and, and our, our listeners. community yeah like that really means a lot to us so that's like the one thing we're not gonna fuck around on no um, this morning I woke up and I had some drama with a couple friends like two weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks ago, where um, a good friend of mine who was a listener probably isn't anymore. Um, he's been my friend for years and um, he used to give me money sometimes. And he was one of those kind of friends. Um, he, he like hit me and was like randomly like, oh, there's something I got to tell you and like hand on the forehead and shit. Like I should have been said something and all this. And I'm like, what? So come to find out like he had been fucking with one of my friends and it's like, it's not a close ass friend, but it's like someone that I had been going out with recently and like he knew that and didn't say shit. And so I guess he was like hella closely fucking with her lately. And I was like, okay, like probably could have gave me a heads up. You know what I'm saying? And, but cause you're at the same time hitting me. And so don't play That's both dirty. sides. Yeah. Yeah. Just be gross man shit. Like hitting me at the same time, still buying nudes, still like, you know, cashing me out here and there. But like, you're fucking with my friends seriously. Like, Oh, Okay. Wow. So I went off and when I went off, um, he sat back and let me basically think at the time that like she purposely knew everything. He let me think that she knew about me and him and like the extent of our friendship 
and that she didn't want me to know that they were fucking around. He basically let my friend look like the shady one. So I start talking shit about her out of like anger and being hurt feelings and like what kind of weird shit are y'all on? And so I, I like whatever I said some things. And then after that, like, I don't know, she was done with him or so. I don't know. It was like messy shit, but I was prepared to cut her off because of it. And I was just like, that's weird. Like to not want to tell me I'm cool. Like I already fuck with like three people in my life as it is. Um, I have no problem cutting more off. Right. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna just step back. So then since that happened a few weeks ago, He continued to like try to make plans with me to hook up and like, you know, try to shoot me some bread and like this and that. Well, I wake up today, mind you, you know, she me and her finally had words and then it was like, oh, she didn't know. And she just didn't tell me because like she she likes to keep certain things private she was gonna tell me in person like some weird explanation but like the fact that she wasn't as shady as she was initially portrayed was frustrating to me because you sat back and watched me talk shit about her out right. of anger now and she wasn't e- like you let her be the fall guy you like and it, said i'm gonna slap the shit out of her and all type I of did, shit i did a lot i basically i called her a cokehead and i called her like you know what i'm saying shit that i probably wouldn't have said had i known that like right. she wasn't the shady one like he let me think so I wake up today and um mind you everybody's been cool I've been cool with him but not fucking with him in that way and then I was cool with her and we were kind of moving past it like whatever um apparently he was at her house and and told her oh Patafria said a b and c a few weeks ago so now I'm sorry there's an eyelash stabbing me wow so why are you trying to stir shit up again why is he a messy a messy hoe ass bitch so i read these texts and i'm like hold on i'm i'm like barely waking up open my eyes that's I call real her. fun to wake up to. oh yeah so i call her and i'm like now what is going on so she tells me and i'm like yeah i did say that so now what so now what are we gonna do like i did say that and this is why because he let me think that you were the shady one, you know? And, and really it's like, he was kind of playing both of us in a way by keeping it from each other. And I don't fuck with that. So she's like, whatever, I hella respect you for like telling the truth and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I I did say shit like this, but this is why. So, you know, now what do we do? He's there at her fucking house. So she's like, let me go over there to where he's at. And I'm on speaker. That's exactly what she did. So I'm cussing him the fuck out. And I'm like, I'll come pull up right now. Like, how about that? Like I come, how about I come pull up and show you how much of a hoe ass motherfucker you are for doing this? Because what is the point? Like, what do you benefit from telling her that I said a b and c like three weeks ago when i was hella mad because when we all got cool there was no more shit talking so it's like i feel like now you're starting shit so that what i don't fuck with her no more so now you you come you cause a divide between me and her now what's the purpose and then you then he can really try and fuck with both y'all oh my god so i'm like screaming and he's like denying and like whatever you know not showing no aggression because I'd have gotten my car and flew over there but um I was just like you know what and I could say like what you said about her but I'm not even finna do that because that's not how I am so you guys I wish y'all the best and so she's still texting me and she's just like girl fuck it like you know um I love you and you kept it real and like you know so me and her it's not no sticky situation between me and her but what if it was you know that's my thing like you're being messy and what if it was don't talk to that fucking and dude I'm ever not, I'm not we blocked each other and shit but my thing is you saw me post you watched my story last night and saw me post that I'm having a hella bad day and your ugly ass sat there and thought how can I make it worse mm-hmm. and then you went over there and you ran your mouth about shit you didn't even need to open your mouth about like wow and you know I could be the bitch and I could like get hella messy and do messy vindictive things and like you know I had all these weird ideas but I was like it's not even <laughs> worth it because I don't even care like I don't even care that much I you're don't not to... worth my time you're, or you're energy really, yeah you're really not it's just the point you know what I'm saying because then what like what if she would have got at me wrong because of that she didn't but what if she did now me and her are completely falling out i'm gonna fuck around and fight her now because of you like oh no so that was how my day started and it just 
it's been getting better, I guess, but it's it's been a lot of little things that are trying my patience all fucking That's day. That's really fucking angering. Yeah. yeah, the nerve. Like, we're all grown-ups. And this is somebody that I considered a friend for many years. Many fucking years. And so it's like a slap, a double slap in my face. This guy. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So whatever. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, that's yeah. fucking shady. Yeah, that was pleasant. That was great. Mm-mm. Today is um, Ashkia's birthday. Oh, yeah. rest in peace. I know. So many memories with that girl. Yeah. One of one of the ones I always think of is her jumping over the fucking car seat to grab the fucking body spray. And we were cracking up because her braids. <laughs> Remember, she had singles and they all flew up and then they all flew down. Remember that? Yes, I remember. There's hollow memories. Yes. I need to call her mom when we're done. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's her birthday. Um, I don't, my day was long. It was very Lots long. of meat cooking. I've cooked a lot of fucking chicken. That should Not be looking. for myself. It looks like elephant ears or something. It looks so gross in the pan. Don't ever send me a picture again. I it do makes it on me want to fucking throw up every time. Like I could smell cooking meat every time you send it to me. It looks so gross. Yes. I've cooked Ugh. so much meat. And you said you cooked that much yesterday and he ate it already? Yeah. What do you do? Just grab big pieces of meat? Chicken. Mm-mm, that can't be good for your insides. I'm sorry. Loves chicken. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I've noticed about uh, my client? Um, he gets like us. He gets stuck on one thing and oh. eats that every single day for we're going on four months right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, so it's. I, I can relate not to I just meat. wish it was something different. Yeah. Not you don't like apples? Like, can we do something that's nice and smells good and is like crisp and fresh and clean? He did say he was, <sighs> he's ready to start eating a bunch of salads. So I let's think we're going to get that. on a let's salad Let's find a kick. salad you really love and let's eat that every fucking day. I have a buffalo um, chicken salad kit that mm. I get from Target. You mm. know, those those bags, those salad kits. There's yeah. a dill one that's really good. I love the dill. It's really good. I ate a buffalo one last night. I'm ready to get another one on my way home. You know, another one is really good is the sweet kale one. It's yes. really good. The Asiago kale one is good. I yeah, I really like the dill. The dill. The d- I love the dill. <laughs> but I love the sweet the kale. kale one the good. sweet kale one is my favorite. I just yeah. pull out... Um, I don't like the dried cran- um, cranberries. Mm-hmm. I don't eat those. And then I do the little the broccoli shoots. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, certain ones I won't eat because when they have dressing on them, they get soggy, and I don't like how it feels in my mouth. Mm-hmm. So I pick out all the small thin ones. It takes me about thirty minutes to make my fucking salad, but those salad kits are really good. Are they called Taylors? I think the brand of salad kit. I don't know if you just search on Target or something. Salad kit, the, the they'll all come up. There's so many. It's, it's hella fresh lettuce. It's I've never got wilted fucking shit in yeah. it. It's really good. And there's hell of varieties. <clears throat> Mona told me that there's somebody on TikTok that that makes like does their own little remix to them, like adds chicken to them and stuff, like um, all the different kits. I'm gonna look into that. The too. sweet kale one, I I add. Um, sometimes I'll buy a bag of Brussels sprouts and I'll add Brussels raw Brussels sprouts to it. That sounds good. It is. It's really good. Um, speaking of foods, Mark asked, do you want any um, pizza or chicken bake or whatever hot dog from, from Sam's Costco? Club? Yeah. No. Costco. I said no, thank you. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I'm going to get me a good salad. I don't want that. That sounds really good. And actually. I've been adding, I have like these Gardein chicken strips that I make in the air fryer mm-hmm. and they're like high protein. And I found a yogurt that's 25 grams of protein. I'd be trying to find little ways to get my protein mm-hmm. in because I'm not a big meat eater yeah. like John. Um, right. <laughs> so I've been like protein bars or like yogurts, like high protein yogurt or whatever. Yeah. Greek uh, nonfat yogurt is a good way. I mean, it doesn't taste great, but if you like add some raspberries and like some some agave to it it's fine mm-hmm. or some granola yeah. it's a good way too <clears throat> i eat hella egg whites that's like my favorite you know what um, i love egg whites eggs have been stinking to me when i cook them lately really yeah sometimes i really want eggs and then lately like i made an omelet not too no i made peas some scrambled eggs like two days ago and i was like smelling them while they were cooking and i was like i'm not fucking with this yeah they could be a little funky yeah especially when you hard boil them 
Yeah, that's different. But no, mm. this was like just cook, just making scrambled eggs. And they were like, Meh, this smells too much like eggs. <laughs> it made me not want them no more. You want to know a gross fucking body fact? Yeah. Humans will shed 40 pounds of skin in their lifetime. Of of skin dandruff? Uh, yeah. And they will... 40 com- pounds? Um, every month you completely replace your outer skin from just dead skin cells shedding. I don't be seeing pounds. it. 40 pounds. Comes off in the shower or what? Because I don't be seeing it. Yeah. If you, well, when you, you know, scrub yourself with a washcloth or fucking... I don't see it in the, my bath. I don't know if that's true for everyone. Uh, you do shed dead skin cells. 40 pounds is a bit much. How long are you living? I mean, if you live to 12, <laughs> I, I doubt it. I don't, yeah, I don't know. If you're living to 80, possibly. I don't know. And I think it would depend on, I think that's a generalization. I think yeah. it would depend on I think we would how all large of a diff- human you are, yeah. how long you live. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's definitely pounds. Think about it every month. I don't even think I shed like a gram a month. Think I know. about it. Like a bag of Coke, a gram. Think about what that looks like. like it's been a while <laughs> since I've seen one of those. I'm just saying, that's a lot. That would be a lot of skin, even if it was a gram a month. Like I probably do. I have dry skin. I don't. I exfoliate and like literally can fucking. Uh-uh. For sure. I exfoliate, but I don't see shit. I don't be peeling and shit. I don't think you're scrubbing our <clears throat> Oh, I am. I use those Korean wash cloths that scrub your motherfucking sins away. So I needed to exfoliate before the live show. I needed to exfoliate um, my instant tan off and reapply. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you need to make sure you get it all off or you're going to be blotchy and fucked up. So I took a pumice stone and I used that. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. Girl. (laughs) Were you raw? I had scabs. I had little tiny scabs on fucking random parts um, of my body. That's how those Korean, they're in my Amazon storefront, by the way, if you want to buy some, because they're good. They have a pocket for you to put your hand in and you just scrub. And I've made like, I've used them along my face and like under here and shit and had raw like spots. Yeah, I have like, soreness. I I have a cloth, um, a cloth like that I bought and fucking that's another one that'll make you fucking raw Mm -hmm. and that's what I want yeah because dude like I said I have hella dry skin and if I don't do that that, frustrating yeah there's no way I have to do that it is it's very frustrating um so I figured I'd play along with your fun word kick I got another one (laughs) it's from an app you're cheating it's not all right Um, So mine is actually a two worder and I know you know what this is probably, but a battering ram. I like saying that a battery ram, a battering ram. You know what that is? Like the cops fucking bust down doors. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) A battering ram. Somebody was like talking about it or something on Twitter. And I was like, you know what? I like saying that. And I forgot how much I like saying that. Do you? A battering ram. Rambunctious Mm -hmm. is fun to say. Rambunctious is a good one. I like rambunctious. (laughs) That's a good one. So you know what I have in here? I have, well, I have a few. Um, The one I have in here is ostentatious. Yeah. What does that mean? I can't stand ostentatious people. Does that mean you think you're cool? Showy ass people, you know, like trying to flow show all the time, Mm -hmm. like ostentatious due to it. That's a fun one to say. Like, bitch, you are ostentatious. Yes. You're really doing too much. Just people that do too much. With your ostentatious ass. With your (laughs) ostentanacity. I don't know if that was right, but don't. I'm going to Don't be ostentatious. You know, I had a friend when we were younger, um, who was arguing with her dad and she said not arguing but having a discussion with him and she used the word debation the fuck is that she was a child and we were in high school yeah she said debation instead of debate so ever since then i use the word debation is it real no i'm having a debation her dad was like what oh a debate is what that would be not debation and i love it so i fucking will say debation no i love it well you know i have hella words i make up yeah no i have my own language please dm me for the book um in fucking um biohack news castor oil 
castor oil is great for many fucking things and i did not know it how people use it for their eyebrows and eyelashes their hair but did you also know that it's good for your thyroid it's good to pack onto your liver on the outside of your body and it pulls toxins and shit they sell these packs and i want to say it might have started in like other cultures but i don't know which one specifically but like for thousands of years they've been doing this where they have these packs like you could even just put it on like pads or paper towel or whatever and you put it like on your thyroid or on your liver or whatever these compresses and it's supposed to pull toxins but you can have like crazy side effects too so you're supposed to start out doing it slowly um i've also been watching videos that led me into um navel oiling You could use coconut oil or whatever, or or castor oil is is supposed to be preferred, but you put it in your navel, you can massage it. And what it does is for people with like fibroids or like, um, bad menstrual cramps or stomach issues, shit like that, it's supposed to really fucking relieve all of that. Like if you just put some in your navel before you go to bed or you massage it into your navel, if you just like, um, search castor oil uses on tiktok all of these fucking doctors come up talking about it and all of these people giving reviews that have tried it or that have been trying it for months it helps hella much with dry skin it hydrates like your face and all of your other skin too like if you start putting it every night i was watching this lady's videos that's been doing it clog your pores like if you put it on your face the coconut oil would because that's um what's that called um comma whatever someone's screaming it right now i don't know um commodogenic i don't know coconut oil clogs but not the castor oil but you're not supposed to you know you could put it on your eyebrows and shit like that or on your eyelids it's good for dark circles around your eyes but if you put it in your navel it helps hydrate all of your skin on your face Because everything is like connected to your navel, like 72,000 nerve endings. And also it accesses all of your organs and shit through Hmm. through the power of the navel passageway. Are you going to try it? I thought about it. Like if I get cramps again. You know, my periods ain't regular, but the last time I had one, I had bad cramps. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking I would try it for that. I'm already hella hydrated and greasy, so I don't really need it for um, like skin stuff. But... I was thinking maybe if I have digestion problems, which I have sometimes. And like um, they said, that's where they said you got to be careful with how long you leave it and shit because you could have diarrhea from it. You could go from like one extreme to the other. But what if you're massaging it in? What do you do? Wash it out? Um, Well, if you're massaging it in, it's not a big amount. But if you like pull it in there before you go to bed and just like kind of lay there and let it sit for a while until you fall asleep or whatever. They were saying some people do it that way. That could Hmm. be dangerous dangerous with you know if you do too much or leave it too long in in the very beginning you like they were saying you want to work your way up to it but i thought it was hella interesting yeah i like reading about stuff like that i'll never remember to do anything though because i can't even remember to fucking put lotion on i'll remind you if you get cramps again because i'm gonna order some really bad cramps too so it could help um Um, worth a shot all the people that i i watched that said they tried it they were like in shock at how how much it helped them um but that you have to get like the virgin cold pressed in a glass bottle you can't just buy any fucking castor oil it has to be like the good kind and so i looked it up on amazon and it's like 35 bucks for for, yeah but i mean it's good for so many different things um i was thinking i'll get some just to have at the house yeah Um, another thing I got the other day is, um, I, this girl that I follow, um, she makes, what is it called? Fucking, is it taro? Beef taro? Wait, let me search it because I'm stupid. Tallow? What is it? I, I don't know what you're going for, so I can't. <laughs> it's beef tallow. Sorry. I, I'm like, I can't help. Because <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> it's beef tallow, right? So it's made from like beef, derived from beef fat. But like she mixes it with other, like mine is made with like lime and basil, I think is the one that I picked. Um, and she like sold it to me and it came in this really nice glass container with a lid that she thrifted. It's beautiful, but it's so fucking, there's all these skin benefits for it. 
but I put a little bit on my hand. And when I say my shit was like not crinkly at all and was fucking glowing and amazing and it's good for your face for any blemishes or fine lines or all this fucking shit. It's so good. And it's like natural and there's only like fucking three ingredients or something. It's all good for you. It's it's um, derived from beef fat. It is, but it don't smell like it. So it's fine. But it's it's like the benefits are amazing. So it doesn't gross me out. What are you going to put it on? I put some on my face and I put it just your skin, just anywhere. It's good for your skin okay. and it's natural and it doesn't have um, any essential oils in it. The ones that she makes. So for people that are sensitive to that, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. But um, that's another thing. After I got it, I posted it and so many people fucking messaged me and they, they were like, I've been using this for years and I never have blemishes anymore or any type of skin issues whatsoever. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, you know, it's natural, so that's cool. <laughs> Instead of all the, I mean, there's so many other chemicals I'm putting in my face and poison I'm putting in my face. I figured something <laughs> I was like, Go to natural, something natural to balance it out would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I have so many. Well, I have a few different fucking roads I want to travel down. But right now, I'll choose this one. Um, a listener sent us um, in our DMs. Did you see that the red in in May, the Red Cross lifted the ban on gay and bisexual men being able to donate blood? Ain't that funny? Finally. And I, and I say no. I say don't give it to him. Finally. In 2023, you could go to fucking hell. You go get it from a heterosexual cis person. That's who you go get your blood Finally from. Finally lifted it. Yeah. Many, many fucking. The fact that it took that long, I resent that. Like, fuck y'all. You don't get no none of this good hum- homosexual blood. None of this non-binary blood. You know, the fact that it it's because the need took. has increased so much. So it's like now during all of COVID, a sudden, yeah, there was a shortage of fucking blood and they yeah. still wouldn't accept. Yeah. Fucking. So that's why I'm like, fuck y'all. Nope. Don't give it to them. Have you ever donated blood? Nope. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think I've. Mm-mm. Can you donate with tattoos? Do they let you? Yeah, for I've ne- sure. I've never donated blood. I have friends that <laughs> my donate niece does. plasma and shit. Cause my my niece donates hella blood, bone marrow, hella shit. She be getting cashed out like a thousand dollars. Yeah, I heard bone marrow hurts pretty bad. She said it wasn't that bad, but it is like a long fucking all day process. But mm-hmm. she does it often. She keeps getting called back to do it. So. I mean, it's needed for, you know, I'm all for helping people, but like, don't, she don't go to Red Cross for it. Whoever she goes to is like a lab, you know, like she, whatever, don't give it to Red Cross. They don't deserve it. Yeah. Judgy bitches. You don't deserve it. Fucking it took that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good that they finally lifted the band, but goddamn, like really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that one bit. Yeah. It was pretty shitty. And then something else that's really shitty. Social media. I, I'm. You already know how I feel about it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, mm-hmm. Did you see the whole shit with the little girl, Lil Tay? Mm-hmm. How they're not dead. I know, mm-hmm. and I feel it was very intentional. I feel that it was a um, an attempt to get her back in the yes. Because why did you wait? Like sh- when she released her statement, she admitted. She saw it early yesterday. So why did it take you 24 hours? To me, in my eyes, it's a stunt. And the sad thing is it's going to work. For sure. Like it got probably a lot of people following that new page and it did what they wanted it to do. And I think that's really gross that we're to that humanity is to that point. Where like attention you're is saying that you're dead. <laughs> you and your brother are dead in order to get fucking views and attention and get your name back popping again. The new currency is fucking likes on social media. It's mm-hmm. like it's gross. And and everybody is just looking for validation and yeah. and likes and it just The more that people become obsessed with it, the more I want to pull back. That's why I yeah. do because it, it just it bu- there's so many things I could say about why I hate social media. Um, 
But it just, that bothered me so yeah. fucking bad. It's in very poor taste. Very, very poor taste. I seen people talking about, oh my God, I'm going to pray for them. I knew her dad was abused. Her parents were abusive. Mm-hmm. They probably killed her. Like, oh my fucking God. Come to find out they're alive and well. And now they have a bunch of new followers on their new page. Yeah. Yeah. Mission accomplished. And they'll probably start posting fucking content and mm-hmm. fucking, it's gross. It and is gross. That type of shit's not funny. It, I, I don't feel like it makes you cool. I don't. Mm-mm. I just. It's not really the way to stay relevant. You know what else is not funny? Hitting my phone accidentally at one thirty in the morning. You. I told you it was an accident. So I have I been hurried able, as soon as I noticed. I hurried and you should have immediately text me. That would have been the right I was thing to do. Praying you were asleep. It's stupid. So what happened? I haven't been able to go to sleep on like at a normal hour anymore Me either for a long time i used to go to sleep at like 10 and that was a good way to live and, and go to sleep at 2 30 now 2 30 2 45 ish and i don't yep. like this life because no. it's not by choice nope um although last night i did take fucking um because i was just over i had a bad day yesterday and i was over it i took two melatonin and i went to bed by 10 30 nice so yesterday was nice and then i woke <laughs> up to the bullshit yeah but no the other night i was up this was a few nights ago it's like 1 30 in the morning i'm scrolling scrolling on my phone probably on only fans or something and I get a phone call and it says crystal and I'm like, Oh no. So immediately my heart goes into my stomach and I'm like, Carolyn died. Dead. She's dead. <laughs> I'm going to have to go over there. I don't know why my brain was like, you were either going to tell me Graham died, but I was for sure mine made up. It was Carolyn. So I was like, God damn it. She's going to be crying and shit. So I fucking, I try to call deep her. Breaths. I try to call her. It goes straight to voicemail. Like your phone died while you were cr- crying and calling me. I can picture it all in well, my I head. Was panicking. You're sobbing and calling me and the phone died. Mm-hmm. So now I got it. I'm waiting a minute. I'm waiting a minute. I'm like, let it turn back on. I wonder why I went to voicemail. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm like waiting, waiting. <sighs> it's not. So I call you and you answer the phone like what? And I'm like, what? I'm bitch? like, I'm so sorry. You called me, Pocket bitch. Pocket dial. Like, <laughs> so why my mind was like Carolyn is no longer with us I don't know but I was convinced I felt a little sick <laughs> and I was hella ir- irritated because I told you like bitch you don't call me at 1 30 you're PM. like I'll start the GoFundMe <laughs> let me call her back <laughs> you don't call me at 1 30 p.m let alone right. 1 30 a.m so right. this got it like for you to call me during the day it's serious so for me to get a call in the middle of the night it meant death it, for sure yeah if Fuck i ever you. really do it means death if what? you do another accidental dial just say just text and be like i, I did not pr- mean to call you okay so on my end when I saw it said fucking Maria, I picked it up. It hadn't rang yet. So I just hung it up on it, my end. It didn't ring yet. It so does. I'm like, so now we fuck. know it does. So, so it rings you guys. If you accidentally sneak and call someone or don't mean to, it if, does. if it don't ring and it mm-hmm. still shows their name, it rings on their end. Yes. So I was trying Carolyn's to, fine. Yeah. I was trying to text one of the girls cause I'm lazy from the other room what, ask for crackers or something something ridiculous <laughs> butter and crackers Just something and i was like fuck mm, dumb bitch dumb fucking bitch so dumb um do you know what i read yesterday that's dumb it's kind of funny what? i mean but to each their own whatever what hugh hefner's son created an only fans because he has a pokemon card addiction and that's how he pays for his pokemon cards <laughs> I'm not mad, though. (laughs) Is he okay? (laughs) I'm going to create one for cigarettes. (laughs) You should. You should make one and just post you smoking. (laughs) Just pictures of you smoking, little clips of you smoking. You should. Pay for my cigs. Right. I'm going to start doing it. I don't even smoke. Right. I think that's a good idea. But he created one, and that's how he funds his Pokemon card addiction. Oh, my God. Come on. With OnlyFans. So he's over there doing helicopter twirls. Like, get me Charmander. He's not being nude. I don't know what he does on No, there. he's probably just talking about Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know what he fucking does. I didn't look don't into what he does. Don't assume that someone's helicoptering their dick because they I, have I'm OnlyFans. I'm always assuming bad things. <laughs> Even without I'm assuming OnlyFans. you're helicoptering your dick on OnlyFans. Without OnlyFans, you think everyone's doing that. That's what I'd be doing if I had a wiener. 
Oh, shut up. I would see how many fuck, how fast I could get it going in a circle and all type With of no shit. no hands. For sure. You know what I think is weird? And I, I saw, I saw it, I see it a lot and I'm kind of like, this is weird and it's very, um... What is it? Double sided? Not double sided. I don't know how to explain it, but women can wear fake jewelry. One sided. That I said double sided. Yeah, it's the same shit. It's very double sided. Women can wear fake jewelry, and men absolutely cannot. Absolutely cannot. Yeah, we buy costume jewelry. Yeah, why is that? That that, that it's okay. That's kind of mean. I don't care if men wear fake jewelry. Bitch, bitch. I don't. You don't. No. You don't. No. People get robbed so fucking much. If Mark is wearing hella fake gold, you're going to be fine with that. Mark's not going to come out of the house with seven sh- fucking fake <laughs> chains, bitch. What if, all right, what if he had one and it was fake and he wore a fake bracelet and a fake watch or something or fake ring? Whatever. At least if we get robbed, we ain't losing money. You wouldn't feel weird about that? No. I'll be like, Mark, take that shit off Ten right years now. ago, it would have bothered me, but I'm just at a place now where... I know what it is. Like, I know so just don't our wear lifestyle. It. So just don't wear but it. But if it, like, makes an outfit or, you know, whatever, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm not knocking anybody. Really? No. no. I just, I, I thought it was unfair to men that it's just, you better be coming correct. Like, As or, you judge. Or I'm going to feel weird about you. Because it's like fake flossing. It's fake. Um, What is that word I you just taught me? I it's ostentatious you're but, fake ostentatious but one, but one chain wouldn't be ostentatious but if you're coming out the house with six fake fucking chains you're doing too much if you're a man wearing fake gold i'm sorry i don't approve but for women and like old it's weird that we can't kind of came up and that's that's how we were taught it's okay we lots of women where i mean i wouldn't but we don't have to stay in that mindset we don't but i'm already programmed it's very hard for me to reprogram. You can do things. it. I just think that's if you know bootsy. someone has money, you know they have money. Yeah, you, you, right. So why do you got a fake floss? Just don't wear it. They don't do it every day. There's an outfit. There's a wedding. They're wearing it to a wedding. So wear some fake jewelry. A fake fucking diamond fucking. What are you, bracelet. Liberace? Why you gotta wear? Fa- why you gotta be fake? Why flashy? are you imagining it at a seventeen carat <laughs> bracelet, bitch? Because <laughs> no, I don't know what else a man would wear that's not like Liberace. Like, why you gotta wear it? Just so be regular. many fucking people get robbed. You know, hella people wear fake. Hella men wear fake jewelry. I mean, yeah, we hear about that and shit. People walking around with the diamond testers and shit like, oh, let me check your shit. I get it. Which I think is so fucked up. But if I'm knowingly know your shit is fake, I'm like, that's hella corny. Just don't wear it. But you know, they got money. Yeah. So why are you trying to? I don't know. So what's the just what's the point? It makes the fucking outfit. No, that's not for men. I think jewelry is. is not for men. I think so. No. They're not wearing a Claire's ring, bitch. I, well, what are they going to wear? Like, if it's not hella flashy and it's... It's, <laughs> it's a fucking cubic zirconia fucking bracelet. No, don't do it. Why? Diamonds are fucking murderous stones anyway. I know. So don't fucking wear them. But the cubic wear zirconia looks good. Wear some gemstones or something. Wear emerald or I don't know. Wear something else. Like the peridot don't match the fucking <laughs> suit, bitch. Uh, don't. Just don't. Don't do it. I'm fine with it, you guys. I'm not. She's I'm, a judgy I'm bitch. Judging. I don't want you. Don't fucking wear that shit. If I'm you not wanna... saying every day and fucking layer you fucking fake chains, but I'm saying once in a while, <laughs> if it makes your outfit and you want to look a nice. Man? Yeah. Accessories aren't for men. Why? I don't know. I you're, don't know. You're a bad person. <laughs> it's not for men. I think it is. Happiness, <laughs> blankets, teeth, none of it. Jewelry. Not, not for, for men. men. No. Go be a man. Go fix something. Why you gotta wear jewelry? Don't wear a necklace, bitch. Wear a tool belt. Be a real fucking man. Wear some fucking Carhartt. Why you gotta be cute? Like, why are you trying to be cute? Why don't you have on a mechanic jumpsuit? Go wear some beads or something. That's what you wear to a wedding, bitch. I just don't think... What are you doing? I don't think they should look nice. It's it's a turnoff for me. Don't let me find out you're wearing... I mean, even if you have real shit, I'm kind of like, meh, that's a waste of money buy a house well that's what i mean yeah Fucking. i'm not into the jewelry anyway I, i'm not but if you're gonna wear jewelry it better be real no i don't give a fuck if i know 
you are financially okay i i don't fucking care and even if you're not i don't know do what makes you happy (laughs) that's really how i feel i don't give a fuck because my fucking icing fucking hoop earrings be put in my ears every fucking day and i think it's okay for women to do it it's just not for men you got some big ass (laughs) fake diamonds in your ear take that shit out knock it off that um uh, take that's it out. being really ostentatious i'm thinking of like you know like i don't know small shit even the small shit just cu- who are you trying to be cute for mm-mm. themselves no i don't mm-mm. no D- you guys don't get no fucking joy <laughs> bitch. i don't think it's not okay i'm not okay with it so you guys let us know if you think you're okay with it and i'm gonna tell you why it's not okay <laughs> So don't tell her. Yeah. No, I think, but like women, like it's fine. It's fine. Even like door knockers or something like, you know, gold earrings from the beauty supply, like girls, fine, fine. (laughs) I might even think you're dumb if you buy the real ones of those, but like, mm -mm, guys, we need sound effects that says. (laughs) Biatch. <laughs> I'm for real. Why you got them big goofy ass dime? Them is fake. Stop. And that is one thing when you see dudes and their fucking shits like, or like this a big. Ring, a big Rolex crown and ring or something. What that is hella doing? corny. Like what that's fucking corny. I'm thinking like small fucking uh, bracelet here and there or fucking chain here and there. What if it's the gold rope? It's a simple gold. Why is that fake? Take it off. I don't know many. I don't know anybody that has like a fake gold chain that I know of. I just think there's a double standard. That's what it is. Double standard, not double sided. It's or a one sided. It's one sided double standard. And you combined them. Yep. Like a debation. Yep. So that's yep, cool. That's, yeah, that's what that was. That's fucking cool. But men, cool. don't put on fucking jewelry. And if you do, it men better be just real. Don't be happy. Don't. Don't don't even every day i'm reminded why men, <laughs> men shouldn't be happy that's because of how your day started <laughs> but still i still i made this note before i had this day oh you're like this just solidifies I was like, it this, yeah but i was just like what don't do that shit like men can't do it but women can that you was were, that was my note you were sitting there listing everything fucking you hate about <laughs> men <and> they can't <laughs> I can't trust you to clean your butthole right yourself. <laughs> Don't wear fake jewelry. Right. Yeah. Do you brush your teeth? Don't play friends against each other. Don't fucking that is bitch. So, you that, dumb bitch. Listen, that is Mm-mm. horrible. Get the battering ram. Let's fucking the Maui fires. The on yeah. the Big Island. Like that oh my scariness. god. Oh, all my fucking thoughts and good anything is with fucking the people of yeah. maui it's heartbreaking already i have feelings about people still visiting hawaii when they've been literally begging and begging and begging people to stop coming there um because it's fucking up the economy and everything for the locals um but this is just like god damn now what now all the locals are displaced and like the people that you know what i'm saying like so there's a certain amount of tourism that um locals you know depend on that have small business the problem is the the tourists that come and disrespect the fucking wishes of locals um on the north shore of oahu when the last time we were there i think it was fucking maybe 2017 or maybe 18 um they were protesting because developers are coming in and buying up fucking land trying to build mansions and there's 10,000 reasons bullshit. why they want people to stop fucking coming there and one of the most important that i've been reading about is their electric companies are asking the people the locals the people that live there to stop using their fucking power and shit so that it's reserved so that hotels for tourists can be exactly. and, and it's like up. you're out of your motherfucking mind and they're doing rolling blackouts and shit like that to locals so that fucking hotels can stay exactly that's R- wrong rent like, a fucking airbnb from a local if yeah, you're gonna yeah, fucking that would be go a good there. thing to do. You know what I mean? Put your money into the locals Economy. if you can. Yeah, or just don't go. Yeah. Just don't go. This is not your fucking paradise. Y'all are fucking running through those islands, and and people are literally crying and begging you not to come anymore. So just I've give, it a, give it a break. Fucking litter when I was there and went and picked That's it up. Insane. Like it's the entitlement, and it's like that's the problem. Yeah, it's, it's the fucking, fucking entitlement. entitlement. 
it's the fucking entitlement um but i just fuck man it looks so scary it looked like a movie like a 53 fucking, people are dead so far 63 yeah yeah great a- and counting it's they still haven't gone through everything um it said the numbers are still climbing people because, were having to jump in the ocean like they were begging anybody with a boat nearby to come pick people up. I did see that flights were like $19 and shit, like for people to get out. I saw that a lot of um, hotels, I think it was a Hilton and shit, like open their doors to people, you know, free of charge. Of course, um, there were like different veterans halls and shit that were like, um, accepting hella donations and everybody's really coming together and like stepping up so that people can be helped that need it. It's so um, fucking sad. It's heartbreaking though, just to see what fucking happened to that place. And like that Laina is gone. Yeah. And it started with dry lightning. Oh, what's that? No uh, rain, no rain, lightning. And then, God. um, you know we could go into global warming and all type of shit yeah um but the winds from i guess hurricane dora Mm -hmm. were exacerbating um so hot wind with flames and just yeah what a scary recipe for fucking disaster that's awful sad hella sad and it's an island so there's not a lot of place to fucking yeah escape yeah you know it's just fuck man so sad um speaking of dry and fucking hot and possible disaster we're going to vegas this weekend yeah and we're driving it's supposed to be like over 100 it's <laughs> supposed to be like 110 go. bitch <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna go at all um i thought it was just me and you going nope and it's not i'm fine with that i guess it's gonna be different um can we still thrift and all yeah. that like yeah yes that's, to do those plans change he's the vlogger okay all right yeah we're gonna do some thrift i want some old town thrifting some desert thrifting yeah um some bar yeah. stove fuck some gambling <laughs> i'm gonna pee my pants at a slot I machine can't fucking because i don't want anybody to get to i just <laughs> i'm gonna pee in the chair she's gonna wear her diaper mm-hmm I just want to play some slots. I want to smoke some Crops. cigarettes indoors. Love it. Because I want, I'm excited for that. And I'm, I'm not even a smoker. I'm excited to go to the old fucking casinos. Yeah. That's where old, I like to be. trashy yep. is what I'm looking for. The I want to swim. The I want to probably swim. Yeah. We're going to see how this goes. Yeah. We're fucking. It's a turnaround. Um, it is. So we're not spending like a great. I can't do more than two, three, three days max for Vegas. Uh, Vegas can I, only be done in small I doses. I think what we're doing is perfect. It's going to yeah. be like almost two days. Mm-hmm. Like. It's two nights. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, you know. What is. Every, every time. It's we like record, they do it on purpose. Yeah. He's like, oh, her car's there. Let me fucking yeah, start doing shit. That's my shit. cue. Chainsaw. Fuck. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited, though. Yeah. Definitely. It's going to be a good gonna time. It's going to be interesting and fun. It is. Um, I figure I'll let Mark drive first and I'll sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all about noon and then maybe I'll drive. I'm excited, though. So we have a happy birthday. We have a few. Let's do it. Um, you I'm have to sing it though. So when you're reading it, I'm not singing sing shit. it as you read it. Be glad that I'm even you're no. rude. <laughs> I'm not singing you're anything. You're fucking rude. Um, Claire, aka Baby Clee. Hey, her birthday was on the fourth. I think. I just want to make sure. Yep, thirty-five on August fourth. Oh, let me. D- I think I have that in here, so I'll delete it. Um, just happy birthday to you. And we're a little late, and I hope it was great. And, and you're thank amazing you for listening and, and we love you so yes, much we do thank you um so we have a few questions let's do it okay oh let me i'll read this birthday first hi tia's first off let me start by saying that I'm so proud of you ladies. I love seeing all the progress you guys have made and all the goals you have reached. I am always rooting for you ladies. Thank you. Anytime anyone asks for recommendations or even how I can be so free to be confident and be who I am, I always share your podcast. Thank you. You guys have truly become a part of my life and I look forward to new episodes. I'm so bummed I didn't get to go to the live show, so I'm really excited. There's a 
possible holiday show mm-hmm. because those oh, yeah. are my By favorite the months of the year. <laughs> By the way, I put that out there. So. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> okay. With that said, I want to give my little grown up sister a birthday shout out. Her birthday is 824. She too loves the podcast and has her own little dysfunctional family now. I know she would be super excited to hear her tears give her a birthday shout out. Mana, I love you and I'm so proud of you. You are a great mom and partner. I wish you the best today and always and keep up the good work. You're kicking life's ass. I will always be thankful for you giving us the most beautiful nephews and I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Even though they are fucking wild dysfunction. (laughs) They have energy for days. Just want to say that no one else is doing three under four years better than you can. Mm. Sorry for the lengthy message. Thank you, Tia's, and congratulations on the live show and all that you girls have done for the HD community. And then she sent another one and said, (laughs) ah, ha, ha, I'm so dumb. I forgot to mention my sister's name. (laughs) <laughs> in true form <laughs> right <laughs> lol <laughs> but can you please shout her out her name is jocelyn and i wrote in earlier this morning her insta is jossie thank you tia oh happy birthday that's hilarious hilarious happy birthday okay <laughs> um one more Hey, girls, I have a shout out for my beautiful daughter's birthday. She turned me on to your podcast. She's a longtime listener and we have hella mutual friends. So, Danielle, a.k.a. Retro, hope you have a great birthday. Hey, girl, (laughs) even though I know if this gets read, it might be September. So, period right. as long as you know that i, I feel like we're listeners good. know like we're doing our best so on that note let me add another <laughs> shout it's out in october yeah so on that note let me add another shout out to my other daughter stephanie happy birthday happy birthday to my grown-up beautiful daughters love mm. you mom um danielle is august 17th and stephanie is september 18th <laughs> I say stephanie love is it. december so. right love it <laughs> cover all bases i love it and happy birthday you guys happy birthday all of you and leah is a patron okay um <laughs> just thought you'd include just that i would include it <laughs> high five i love you guys thank you um okay do you want here you want to read this one Darla, this one, yeah, sure. and then that but this next one. motherfucking eyelash don't stop stabbing me. Good thing we go tomorrow. God, okay. We love you guys so much. Thank you for putting... Is this how it starts? I guess it is. Yes, it's just a little thing that was sent to us. Oh. I thought it was sweet, and I want to... I need an ego boost, so give it to me today. Thank I'm you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we need some happiness. No, for Thank real. you for putting in all of the effort you guys do, because I can only imagine how hard it is with all of life's regular dysfunctional shit. Like, honestly, I try not to complain a lot. Except mostly about because, headaches, we do. Yeah, mostly because Crystal be having that covered um Fuck with, you, with a lot of shit you know what i'm saying but we be having a lot of shit that we don't even did i say we be having things we be having a but lot we of be having things but we be having a lot of things that are not worth dancing for that like are not fun um that are true bullshit that don't deserve the acknowledgement but we still have to deal with it so please be patient with us please like we're doing our best i'm just gonna put that out there no for real like think about it on top of recording twice a week right we've been renovating the studio we had to prep for the live shows we did the live shows i work there's every kid t- starting school like st- all of like there's a lot of fucking shit yes like um and it's been non-stop non-stop i've had peas for weeks because her grandma was sick and like my sister ain't she got her the other day thank Pease god is in terrible too right she's now. going through a stage where she's like hitting me and like being really fucking bad lately believe it or not and like i have been on my own lately <laughs> due to scheduling and just like yeah it's usually i have more help but the last three weeks it's kind of been all on me and it's been frustrating so like just we're trying we Please. try to just you know get things done as we can motherhood is a full-time job yeah, in itself. no it is and it then is. you add on the five million other things that we do like it's mm-hmm. it's a lot like we're lucky that we get out the two episodes we do a yeah. week you know yeah so thank you okay. guys i'm sorry those let me, of you that understand let thank me you finish reading this 
Um, cause we went on a rant. Where was I? Cause we've been getting some shit. <laughs> we have. All right. Thank you for putting in all of the effort you guys do, because I can only imagine how hard it is with all of life's regular dysfunctional shit. You make us all feel safe, seen, heard, and valued for a lot of us. This is a safe space to be vulnerable, honest, and ourselves. Some of us have shared things with this community that we haven't even shared with our close family and friends. No facts. Same. Definitely. Um, you should feel immensely proud of this community you've built by just sharing your life stories opinions advice and choosing to be as transparent as you can on air a million times thank you obsessed with y'all and this hd family thank you that I was nice. that message that was nice it was very read. needed man yeah for real thank you so much um ladies i need some advice a friend and his wife just lost their baby due to miscarriage fuck i'm sorry um that's my fault a friend and his wife just lost their baby due to a miscarriage i know it's a tough situation but a group of us want to do something nice for them uh they do have other children as well do you have any suggestions give them one of your <sighs> children i'm just kidding I, I'm you're just a dumb bitch <laughs> um offer that see if they want it if not sell it do something nice for them yeah. like um if there's a group of them did they say there's a group of them yeah a group of us want to do something Maybe nice for give them. them a gift card i was gonna say chip in on like a little getaway for them yeah, like yeah. um even if it's just like a staycation like a little yep. hotel getaway and yes. dinner or something i think that would be really thoughtful to give them some time and then like one of y'all offer to babysit since they have other Perfect. children that's, that's exactly what i would what want I was gonna, yeah. first, me too yeah definitely so do that you guys i think there's one more question in there um let's see all i can say is that my life is pretty plain. nobody asks for this i like what oh i think this is one about an annoying co-worker i hope this is a, a current is. one okay it is hi crystal and pata I've been a longtime follower of Pada for a few years. Um, I really love the podcast and listen to it at work. For the past few months, I've had a really annoying coworker. This coworker of mine refused to learn anything and is constantly always asking for help. I've gotten so fed up with her that I've resorted to snitching to my manager that she doesn't want to do her job and that she's always bugging me to find the answers for her. That's a problem. It would like, be, I don't get paid enough to do my job and yours. And it would be one thing, let's because I know with fucking, uh, I'm going to use myself for an example, my favorite example. <laughs> um, but, you know, like with fucking ADHD, like sometimes you'll ask the same thing five times in a row and you won't retain it. Yeah. It would be one thing if there was something like that going yeah. on. But pure fucking laziness yeah you're just not trying like nope. um no no nope. you don't get paid to do both of y'all jobs Fuck so no no um so don't even call it snitching it's like listen for give real. me a motherfucking raise if i gotta do half her job give every me day. her check yeah um hold on where was i mm -mm. um that she doesn't want to do her job and she's always bugging me to find the answers for her if it was a retail setting i would have told her off since the beginning unfortunately i work in a corporate setting and mm -hmm. i feel like i don't know what else to say to get her off my back any advice i would very bluntly like setting boundaries for yourself is my number one advice for everyone in the world this year because it honestly like some like like i said before takers don't know limits so they're gonna keep taking and taking until you set a boundary that goes for shit like this too not just in relationships not just in friendships whatever in all walks of life you need to tell her yep. i don't get paid enough to keep doing your job and my like i can you know i try to help as much as i can but this is becoming a bit much homegirl or if you don't want let's say if you don't want to be confrontational like that you can say i'm too busy yeah i can't help you yeah like yeah both of those are perfect yeah fucking but ways stop doing it like yes. stop doing it because that's just encouraging them to keep asking you stop doing it and don't think you're not being a team player at that point yeah you've, you've done enough playing and helping there's an example of this and i'm hella proud of my sister because my sister goes above and fucking beyond at her job and she has been for years and years and years right and people take advantage of that to the point where like she'll get one day off a week or sometimes she uh. won't get a day off period and it's like they're not paying you to be a 
supervisor. Like you're a regular employee and they got you doing everything. Shit, that's beyond your scope. She ha- she was fed up the other day, girl. She walked out. Good. was like fuck this like this is too much told her supervisor this is too much like this is not my fucking job I'm tired of this being put like extra doing shit everything for and not someone getting else paid? yes for someone else being put on her constantly so she walked out she fucking took the next day off um, Good. I'm pretty sure she's back to work now but like boundaries have to be set and be clear because people will use you and if you do one favor or go above and beyond once you will be it will be expected yeah. of you mm-hmm. and I get being a team player but there has to be a hard line yeah because they're gonna use your Don't free let labor people abuse it do not for sure it's cool to be nice sometimes i'm all for it but like no don't let it become a problem yeah don't be like me and wait many many years before you're like i don't want to do that i'm all in your phone I hope there's a spread, a <laughs> pussy was, spread you know, photo. There's like, not. Whatever it's not this funny. Is, I, no, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Okay, so a few years ago, oh damn, I don't have the other photos. A few years ago, um, in like 2018, when Natalia was younger, my brother had this toy, and they were is called it blocks. They were called bunchums, and they look like are um, they building blocks? Oh, are they those they look connectables like- that have teeth? Yes. I know exactly what the fuck they are. And so what Natalia fucking did was put a bunch of them in her hair. Put a bunch of them to bunch them in her hair. Listen, (laughs) I'm going to show you what it fucking looked like. I remember this happening. Do you remember remember, Will flipping out? You know what? You know how you solve that? You cut it with scissors. So he was like, I was, I remember him calling me saying, I'm going to shave her fucking head. (laughs) And I was crying, (laughs) laughing. And when he reposted it the other day, I started crying, laughing again, because I, I'm going to post this on our page. You guys have to see it. Please post that (gasps) on our page. he said, he said, if you have a son or daughter with lots of hair, please don't buy these stupid with ass things. Hair. A son or daughter with any hair. Do not buy these. And this, what in the fuck would make her put that many? Do first of all, remember how wild she was at one point. <laughs> It yes. was during that period. No, she's come a long way. I pointed it out the other day how how um, <laughs> cute they are. <laughs> I can't wait till you post this. Oh, my God. For those of you watching the video, fuck. I'm going to fucking put it by the camera real quick. You Please. Because what the this. fuck were you? I, you're getting a whooping for that. Do you guys see this? Let Peace try some shit like that. Or Bunny or somebody do that. You went hella far with it. There's like. 15. There's like twelve to fifteen. If you hair. could, if you could feel, because you know you wasn't getting them first three out. You oh. kept going. I'm whooping your ass. Now you're getting a whooping, put, and you're getting a crazy haircut. She put so fucking many in her hair, and I just remember how stressed Will was. He was damn near on the verge of tears. He was like, "I'm shaving your head." He had to make a post about it. And I remember a warning for other parents. I laughed so hard. I remember I had tears pouring down my face. My stomach hurt because please post that kids ain't oh shit. my god so oh yeah this is getting post no bunch of don't no even buy bunch. that shit do not don't even look at them Mm-mm. matter of fact they need to stop making them <laughs> they do they do i would write a letter that shit is wild all right i gotta go pee i know i gotta do nothing for a minute and feel good about it yeah so, all right we you guys. love you please, please subscribe, subscribe to, to our youtube, YouTube. Ew, jinx. Gross. You're gross. Ew. Jinx. Pinch poke, yo, me a um, coke. But yeah, please rate. We still ain't got no um, new reviews after we asked so you kindly. you guys really don't love you us. You don't love us, but that's fine. Um, it's, cool. it's clear now. If you did. Yeah, I check every time we get an Same. email. Like, no, no new ones. And I feel like if you have an Android, since, you know, you can, you don't have iTunes on Android, you could borrow an iTunes phone and write a review. You could ask your coworker that gets on your nerves. Let me use your phone ask real quick. Ask the fucking checker at the grocery Go store. Go subscribe on their phone yes. and leave us a review. Carolyn is subscribed. She'll listen, <laughs> but she's subscribed. But her phone is subscribed. Absolutely. Yeah. Borrow someone's phone. Yes. Please. And show us you really love us. Mm -hmm. And that's it, you guys. Okay. Suck it easy. Go to bed.